So what do you do with a 53 foot canvas and 200 cans of spray paint? Paint flaming pigs, of course. When my friend Davin asked me to paint his 53 foot tractor trailer, I had no idea what I was up against. I had to put everywhere, everybody to work, including my son Dylan, and just really get after it. You know, it's not that big of a deal using uh, spray paint. You know, in this project I used uh, MTN 94 spray cans and they come with all kind of different tips and allow me to cover a lot of ground quick. Davin was really amazed that uh, I got so much painted uh, in the first two days. And, you know, really we had a good design. He knew what he wanted. And so we did a desert scene and had these flaming pigs. And it was really cool because we were out in the middle of this uh, farm country and Dylan got to play with the roosters and the chickens. And uh, it was good for the whole family. Maria recorded everything. and. You know, it was a family affair. You know, doing something like this is uh, is a lot of fun. You know, you actually kind of sketch out with the, the paint itself. Here I'm doing a snake, and uh, it just uh, you just kind of work with it. And like I said, the paint really makes it easy. You just really can get a lot of paint on there quick. You know, and my arm did get a little tired, you know, reaching up. And it was eight feet tall, but it was about four or five feet off the ground. So, you know, using the scaffolding and pushing it through the dirt was kind of difficult. Uh, concrete would be better. And be, doing this, you know, breaking out the airbrush and doing the little details out, out in the country was, was kind of hard because all of a sudden the storms came up and we had to tarp the whole thing. And, you know, this is just another example of, you know, being an artist. You never know what life's going to throw at you. And it's just important well, to get the job done and keep going. Uh, we had five days to do it, and uh, I think this was day three when the storm came. Uh, this is an example of doing the lettering. You know, all your artistic skills come out. I, I did this on construction paper, yeah, and then cut the that. lettering out, did a stencil, sprayed it, <laughs> and taped it, and did a reverse uh, to get that background. And it's just time and uh, patience doing that. Like, uh, water made it hard, it made some of the paint peel up. But that paint is amazing because I could just uh, go right over that and um, you know touch it up with no problem. And, and I gotta say hats off to Davin. You know he's a local entrepreneur. He's a chef and he's making this trailer so he can go That's out good. to the oil pipelines in Utah and Wyoming good idea, and uh, Davin. feed them. So it's a mobile restaurant called Pipeline Catering. And uh, those guys uh, need to be fed, and so they'll see the flaming pigs coming down the road and uh, get hungry, I hope. So I hope you enjoyed it. We sure did.